Hi, this is George Cow. So in this short video, I'm going to show you what a difference a good quality webcam makes in making a video. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when I'm using the default webcam that comes with my laptop versus this one. So this is the default webcam on my laptop. I have a MacBook Pro. This was bought in 2010, but back then it was top of the line, 17 inch screen. And I think they haven't really changed the webcam very much over the years. Even the latest MacBook has a webcam that's not, not too far from this, this low, rather low quality. And notice on this default webcam, I have to like, I have to adjust the, I have to turn the screen closer like this and to be able to see more of me. And at this kind of angle, it's not very comfortable for me to look at the screen if I'm looking at notes or whatever. Uh, the way that I typically work is at this angle, right? This angle is comfortable looking at the screen, but it's not great for the webcam. So as you can see, the lighting is not so great either. Uh, I don't, I'm not using any artificial lighting. The, the lighting, the natural lighting in this room is pretty good, but it's not great. And so you can see it's kind of has a pinkish quality <laughs> in the in the picture. And so I'm gonna now show you what it looks like with my external webcam that I bought. This is the one that, that uh, I'm going to be showing you. And with this one, I'm gonna show you that this can this can um, adjust so so this sits this sits very gently on on the top of my laptop screen like this very gently and you can adjust any of these things um, you can uh, let's see here yes you can adjust this piece right here you can adjust this piece so how, how it sits on the laptop it's very easy to use and you can also adjust this top part so that you can you know you can show the the angle in different places so um, I'm going to include the link to this webcam in the notes of this video. It's going to be a non-affiliate link. I don't like to be paid. I don't like getting commissions for endorsing products. That's not how I make my money. Uh, but I do like to endorse products because I genuinely like them and think you should consider it. So in the next segment of this video, you're going to see the difference with using this instead. And again, I'm going to put the I'm going to put the uh, the, the the laptop screen back to where it's comfortable for me to look at the screen. So it's typically like this, which is which is not great for the default webcam. But here you go. Watch watch what it's like when I use. And it. here we are back with the external webcam. I have literally not changed the positioning of my laptop screen. Um, so the very uh, last segment you saw where my laptop screen was right now comfortable for me to be reading notes or whatever as I'm recording, that's the same. But I'm able to adjust the webcam angle so it looks a lot nicer. The other thing I love about this webcam is that you can adjust, you can download on the Mac, you can download a free app from Logitech. Logitech Webcam C9, I think it's called Logitech Camera Settings. Is the I'll, I'll include a link to the app. But uh, the, the free app allows me to adjust the brightness of, of the image. So look, watch this. See, I can adjust however I want the brightness to be or I can make it darker, darker or brighter, just very easily by, by moving a slider on the app. Uh, I can also adjust the contrast easily. So <laughs> let me like this or like this, more contrast, but obviously I'm just gonna put it somewhere in the middle here. The color intensity is kind of, um, yeah, I can make it black and white easily or make it super, super colorful easily. It's very easy to do on here. Uh, there's also another setting called white balance. I don't know what that is. Let's see what that does here. Oh, I can't adjust that. It's, it's um, oh, it's automated right now. It's automatic, but see white balance is versus this. So it's more, more right, or, you know, so something like that. So there, there's a checkbox that that's put that I can put as auto for the white balance, and that see now it automatically adjusts it. Uh, it also, um, let's see, uh, yeah. So those are pretty much the settings, and uh, I just got a text. Sorry for the for the noise there. And I can also adjust the focus automatically or let it be manual. So right now, let me adjust the focus manually here to show you what happens. See, obviously it's out of focus versus you know, in focus. But I'm gonna click the auto checkbox here and it snaps to focus, so it's very smart. And I can even adjust the zoom. So let me, let me show you what the default zoom is on this. So default zoom is pretty wide angle, right? Compared to my webcam, which is fairly smaller. Um, and then I can adjust the zoom. One, two, three, three clicks on the zoom is kind of how I like it because then it kind of uh, hides my my little lapel mic, which I'll include the link to the lapel mic. The lapel mic makes a difference too in how it sounds. It sounds much better. 
um, than, than the general. If I don't use the lapel mic, the sound is more echoey. By the way, the webcam also comes with a microphone. So that's kind of nice as well. The lapel mic, I think, is only $20. So I'll include the link to that as well. So anyways, as you can see, it makes a difference uh, for your Skype calls, for if you do webinars, Google Hangouts, um, you're, you simply make videos. I'm using the Photo Booth app on my Mac right now, which comes with the Mac, what comes with every Mac for free, the Photo Booth app to use to make this video. So I hope this helps and uh, enjoy uh, getting an external webcam if you choose to do so.